So this is exciting, but it's also rather scary. And it might be for some of you out there that have begun the journey that East London started quite a few years ago. So this is our integrated app solution, and this is just for inpatients. And I just wanted to describe some of the levels we've got to. So we have a high levels inpatient summary, which has free SPC charts contained within it. We have population health pages. There are four of those with 20 SPC charts. We have quality safety and flow pages. There are 10 of those pages with 49 SBC charts. There's a value section, again, with five further SBC charts. So what have we got there? We've got 77 SBC charts in this suite. We have six directorates and a trust-wide view. They each have their own set of that 77. Within each area and trust view, we also have 75 inpatient wards or inpatient areas. You can see where we're going now. Just in this inpatient solution, we have 34,000 SPC charts generated daily for board level, for directorate level, for ward level, for team level, all able to digest their SPC charts at the level that they need it to make decisions. Before we had this solution with Cloud2, we had a reasonably automated solution, or at least we thought so. So we have a data warehouse where we can create procedures to automatically feed charts that we can put in Excel. We had pre-designed templates where all the rules, all the procedures, all the charts were already set up. We only had to lift the data into it. We had pre-designed reports where we could just lift the charts into and set them away. But even with this method, we could say actually it took no time at all to run the procedures overnight because you know we were asleep and the data warehouse was doing the hard work while we were sleeping. And perhaps it takes minimal amount of time to lift that data from the data warehouse into our preset Excel templates, maybe just 10 seconds ago, locating the file, dropping the data in. And then perhaps it takes minimal amount of time, perhaps only five seconds to then lift that data into our preset reporting templates. But with 34,000 reports, even running at 15 seconds a time, and that's a pretty conservative estimate of how long it takes to go through those processes, we suddenly arrive at a total like this, uh, and this is where I say it's scary, 141 hours of staff time or 19 staff that would be theoretically required just to produce the scale of the solution we have at the moment. And like I say, that's only inpatients. When we consider the other areas of the trust we work in, community health, population health, primary care, it could be that we're working with over 100,000 charts in the very near future, populating every day from board to ward to team, all using this meaningful way of representing data to make decisions. And we couldn't be able to do that using even reasonably automated method. We needed a solution that can run this every day, all the time. So just from summary from the Alfred experience here, just a reminder is that the flow chart that we've got, which very easily identifies the models of SPC chart that can give you the greatest um, reflection of your data, considering things like your cohort sizes, your data types and the frequency of the events. And I just encourage people just to take advantage, run some scenarios, run some comparative analysis like we did and see the extra strength you get when you add in that extra data, that intelligence that you already know about your systems. And then the second thing is, if you're beginning your journey now in rolling out SPC charts in your trust or area, and I'm sure it's gaining great traction and people are beginning to ask for their own areas and their own wards of data to be presented to them, is have a think about the ELF journey and have a think about how quickly the demand for SPG charts went into the thousands and eventually will go into the hundreds of thousands and what type of solution you will need to manage that.